Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. This is going to be part four of ISO 9001-2015. Particularly, we are going to mull over the class number 10.2. So I have already made a one video on how to create the ID, how to interpret the ID, how different the you know ID is from the normal English context to an ISO context. So I have given a lot of tidbit on that. So this is going to be a follow-up video on particularly from the angle of assessment i have briefly prepared 10 questions which i'm going to hit the answer and i'm going to explain from there as such so please watch that video also as well so that you will get the entire summary as such so let's have a go so if you wanted to catch up the part one part two part three that is basically a, a wonderful questions around ISO 9215, 19011 that is auditing skills and ISO 9000 that is fundamental and vocabulary. So I'm going to give my email ID and then uh, so it gives here and just to give you a summary once again, D1 it what team form a team and D2 what describe the problem right D3 correction or containment action that is called implementing the containment action. And D4 is what? Identifying the root cause. That is called root cause analysis. D5, permanently, permanent collect, uh, corrective action. Look at the word, permanent corrective action, meaning like that's something which resolves the problem, which completely eradicate the cause. Everything is called, uh, you know, D5. That is called per permanent solution. In other words, corrective action literally means preventive action. Yeah. So meaning like, you know, eradicating the, uh, you know, the failure mode, eradicating the causes. So where do you get the reference? So if you read the standard ISO 9001 2015 class number 10.2 and section B, what it says, identify the need for uh, evaluating, evaluating the need for an action to eliminate the cause. So that means, and then the next sentence, it says that, so have a, uh, an action which will recur or it will prevent that uh, you know problem elsewhere right so this is very important to see that the corrective action meaning like preventive action yeah and then what you need to do we need to evaluate whether your corrective actions whatever the proposed actions you have taken whether healthy enough or not and then you need to check uh, uh, you know prevent recurrence that is called uh, you know how to horizontal deployment, sustenance and all that and D8 is congratulate the team. So this is all about the gist of my previous video that I made it in one slider. Let's have a go and take the assessment. Okay, uh, it, it says the key theme of FME theme, we are talking about main objective. Yeah, Key theme of FME and con, I mean AD are same. Yes. So both, uh, you know, AD, FMA is a proactive approach. You just take down all the failure mode and then try to eradicate, try to see a proposal and have a recommended action so that the, you know, failure, whatever the failure happens, it can be prevented before even they occur. Right. So that is AD. And AD is what? AD can be used for both. It can be used for whenever the customer complaint happens, whenever there is a non-conformity, whenever there is any situation where you need to analyze or proactively or reactively, then you can use it. The basic theme of these two documents are same. Maybe the parameter, the detail, the attribution may be vary, but the core theme of these two documents are same. AD can be used as proactive approach, reactive, reactive approach and both, right? So it can be used for both, right? For example, proactive meaning like, so you wanted to, uh, you know, it is says that actually AD before FME. So but, but before you do an FME, you just uh, proactively address the risk and all that and mitigate the risk. And reactionary also, whenever there is a situation that there is a failure happen, again, you can fix it through AD also as well. So problem solving technique is a great tool. Number one tool for problem solving technique. Let's have a go. Class number 10.2 calls for evaluate the need for an action to eliminate the cause. Yes. And then it says D7, that is preventive action. 
uh, is different meaning from ISO perspective and normal English perspective. Yes, true. In the beginning, I said that in, in corrective action, meaning like preventive action and preventive action, meaning horizontal deployment and sustenance method. Yeah. Okay. D4, that is heart of our heart or brain of the entire problem solving technique, that is AD. Uh, so D4 RCA can be used different tools such as YY, Fishbone, FMEA. And uh, so I'm going to take this one. We can use this one. And uh, FMA will not help. Actually, it will help, but uh, not to the uh, longest degree. If you wanted to take some inputs from the run chart and see what where the scatters are there, you can find it out. Uh, but it will give a, a, you know, uh, causes to you, not causes. It gives the symptoms to you where the problem and scatter also the same thing. Okay, ISO 9001 2015 does not use the word preventive action. Yes. And then typically AD can be used in dash situation to address the customer concern, to address the repeated error, to address the internal non-conformity, uh, to proactively plan an action before even they occur and all the above. So all the above. Okay, next questions. D6 validate, uh, D6 meaning like validate the corrective action requires document level verification and demo validate to confirm whether the plan actions are are effective or both verification and validation the word verification meaning like anything you do with the comparison to the document you have a set of ctqs critical to quality and then you check yeah all of these things are met that is called correct you no know, verification validation meaning you do it practically you demonstrate it and then uh, you figure out whether the you know solutions are effective or not so it both the things the action comes out from corrective action shall in line with identified root cause yes or no yes of course that's the reason you know d4 it is kept like a root cause analysis immediately d5 is there that is corrective action so both go hand on hand hand in hand the only thing is uh, rca gives a problem and d5 gives a solution that was a good question and D3, that is uh, containment action or interim action, requires mandatory to perform RCA, not required. For example, let's say if you want to do a force, uh, 4D, even whenever there is a custom complaint, we need to fix it immediately, right? And then uh, check for the stock and whether the same problem is there and all that, quarantine and all that. Then perform D4. That's the reason D3 and then D4 comes. After that, you perform the analysis and all that. And then, you know, you have a permanent fix by using corrective action tools. Okay. And I'm going to give next. So this is the feedback. You will get it uh, automatically. And if you wanted to give a feedback about this video, you can have a give it. And then, uh, so you wanted to have a copy, please select this one so that you will have in your email so that you can have a uh, references anytime as such. So that's it. The form is being submitted successfully. And then you can see um, the if you wanted to catch up the previous video, you can catch up here. Or you wanted to see the score, you can catch uh, see the score here. Or you wanted to see the you wanted to take the reassessment one more time, you can take another uh, response. Another time you can take the survey. Let's see that what's our score. Score is 20 out of 20. And then it will also will give a nice summary like you know the summary descends like okay all of these what was the right answer even if it is a, a wrong answer it will give in red uh, font and then it will also will give uh, the what is the right answer also it will give so all of these things easily we can get it so this is google google form and is very secure if you wanted to take up this link and have a practice you are more than welcome to do it Th this i will be uh, giving in the description also as well just in case if you want to take up and practices, please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have a wonderful day ahead.